Hi, and welcome to your first lecture on Photoshop. And today we're going to look at the four main areas of Photoshop that we'll be dissecting in class this semester. The first area that's very important is number one, the toolbox. This right here on your left is the toolbox. Um, it can be moved at the top with this little band. So you can place it anywhere you want on your desktop. Uh, these are all of the tools that you work, uh, work with on your uh, file. And one quick thing to note is that you can compress this long strip with the top right arrow. Let me go ahead and try that. I like to look at it this way just because it's a little bit more compressed. It doesn't take up quite so much space. And it also is how I'm used to looking at it. So I'd like to at least take a look at it from this perspective. A couple things going on. In the tools, you have uh, little arrows next to some of these tools. And it's almost like that's a drawer. If you hold your mouse down on the tool, then you'll find a submenu of like tools related to that one. Here I have the brush tool. You can see we have the brush tool, pencil, color replacement tool, and the mixer brush. Now, another important feature of the toolbox is that these are your shortcuts to the right uh, for the brush, and um, the shortcut would be letter B. So if you uh, compress the, le uh, the letter B on your keypad, you'll indeed uh, get these tools. Now, if you want to toggle through the tools, then that would be a Shift B, Shift B, 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 and that would slowly toggle you through the tools in the drawer or the submenu. Okay, so this is the Digital Artist Dream Workbench, and you can imagine having your own table with drawers and tools to, to work with. So you can kind of think of it that way. Down here are your colors, and this is how you, you work with color. The, the foreground box is the uh, color that your tool will primarily work with. Let's set a color for the foreground box, and you do that by just clicking on this foreground box, and you'll get something called the color picker, which we'll talk about later. However, uh, the strip here is like a color wheel. It's just a strip, and you can see that the bright blues match up with the more orangey, uh, the bright reds match up more with the orangey reds. I'll just click on a bright red tone. To the left, the box will become this hue. This hue is actually 346 degrees on the color wheel. And I'm just going to click here and make this a little darker. As you move down, your colors will be darker. And as you move to the right, your colors will be more saturated. If you drag this hue to the left, this becomes more desaturated. And you can see up here, this is your new color, that as you move closer to the left, your colors will become more gray. So that's, that's what desaturation means. Anyway, I'm going to click on the red and then OK that. And you'll see that new colors become red. So this is your first major area of Photoshop. And in this semester, we will be dissecting the toolbox. Now, the second main area is located right up here in, on the strip. This is called your options bar. And it's very important because actually when you click on a tool, and let me do that, I'll click on the type tool to show you that one. If you click on the type tool, what you'll find is, there we go. What you'll find is that the options bar then switches to the options related to the type tool. And that's exactly what it does. So most likely what you'll do is click on a tool and immediately look up into your options bar to see what kind of information and specifications have been laid out. Uh, once you enter a specification, like if I change the type's point size to 35, that will stay that way uh, for you for the next time that you come back to Photoshop. Uh, it will remain at the changed specifications. And we'll come back to the options bar later. Uh, the third main area that we'll be looking at here in Photoshop are the menus. And menus usually are something that most students are comfortable with. You've got your file menu giving you um, procedures such as quitting Photoshop or hiding it. 
Um, probably the other biggie are preferences. We'll be looking at those later. But preferences are semi-permanent changes that you uh, make to Photoshop so that whenever you open it, uh, those changes will be there for you. Um, in areas like the file menu where you can print and import, uh, those are some uh, important facets. You can save your file. A lot going on in the edit menu and so on. But these are your your menus and that is the third major part of, of Photoshop. We'll be going through and looking at those menus. Now I've arrived at the window menu for a reason and that's because in the window menu you have all of these terms and these actually are uh, what we call panels and panels are, are to the right here so this right here is the layer panel and you can see it's located right here these are just boxes that contain more information that you can utilize and and work on your file with um, if the area is checked in your window menu it means that that panel is out and if it's not checked it means that the panel is not out so for example let me just grab history we'll be looking at history very soon and if you click on that history uh, term uh, indeed here's our panel that comes out and is related to that reality called history which we will learn so those are the four main areas of Photoshop they're really important and it's nice to look at them in bite-sized chunks that you can then delve into deeper and get a more uh, deep appreciation for the uh, main areas of Photoshop